Okay, this will be a quick video. Cloud recently released desktop version using which you will be able to access Cloud from your Windows computer or Mac OS. Let me very quickly show you how can you install it and how can you use it. And there are only few features to know. So that we'll also cover in this video. So if you follow my mouse, currently I'm in Google homepage. And if I just type cloud.ai, then I'll be in Cloud Console. Currently, I'm already logged in because I use Cloud on daily basis. In case you are new to Cloud, you can use your Google credentials to log in. Now, let me show you how can you install this app. If I click on my profile here in the bottom left corner of the page, there you'll be able to see one option that is download apps. If I click on that, then it will open a new tab. Both Windows versions are available along with the Mac OS. But if you want to use it from your mobile devices, then Apple App Store link and Google Play Store links are also available. In this video, let me show you how can you install the Windows version. So if I click on this icon, then it will download the software. You can see the download is in progress now. And once this will be completed, then we'll start our installation. So now the download has been completed. And let me double click on this file to start the installation. And also let me minimize these files so that I can see all options clearly. You can see currently this is initializing and then we'll get the next prompt. This has been installed now. So this is the interface of Cloud Windows application. If I just maximize this window, you can see it's everything is same here. Like the web browser, all options are same here. There is only one thing you need to know. One setting is here that is only available for this application then that is not available in the web version. If I come on the top left corner and click on this particular menu option, there you'll be able to find file and there is one option that is settings. If I click on that and then a new dialog box will come and here you can see one option is there and that is specifically for this particular application. There are only couple of things. One is if you will allow this particular software to start during your startup. So you can toggle this option to turn it on or off. By default, it's always on. If you don't want, you can turn it off. So what I'll do, I'll turn it off because I may not use this application all the time. Second one is quick entry keyboard shortcut. So instead of opening this app or going to the web version and there you open Cloud, instead of that, you'll be able to use this keyboard shortcut, Control Alt Space, and then Cloud will get invoked. So these are the only two settings you have which are specifically for this particular app. Otherwise, everything else is same except these two features. Now, this will be an useful one. If you use this Control Alt and Space, then you will be able to invoke Cloud. So let me close this application and then show you what I'm talking about. If I now press Control Alt and Space, now I can see this particular prompt came where I'll be directly able to interact with Cloud. And currently you can see my application is not working here, but still I'm able to get this particular option to type my prompt. And before we end this video, I'm in process to record one comprehensive course on generative AI. If you are interested, check the link in the description below so that I'll be able to send you a discount coupon once the course will be live. So that's it on this video. If you want to know how can you install Windows application of ChatGPT and what are the settings you need to know, then you can check this video to know everything about it.